Hi kids. So let us discuss in this video the rest of the sums from height and distances from M. L. Agarwal. We have already done till sum number sixteen. You can click on the I button and get the sums. Okay. In this video, we'll solve sums from seventeen to thirty-eight. Just a recap. Okay. If this is a tower and you are seeing the top of the tower from the point A, then this is your line of Sight, then the angle which the line of sight makes with the horizontal, that is known as the angle of elevation. And suppose you are over here at B, and then seeing A, the point A on the ground, then the angle again with the horizontal, then this becomes your line of sight B. This is known as angle of depression, and angle of elevation and angle of depression are. Same, and most of the sums, okay, will use tangent, will use tan theta, okay, which is the ratio of perpendicular by base. Just see this sum number seventeen. A person standing on the bank of the river observes that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is sixty degree. So, he is. This is your river bank, okay. He sees from here the top of the tree, which is this. Okay, the angle of elevation is sixty degree. When he retires twenty meter from the bank, which means he goes back twenty meter. Of course, when he goes back, the angle of elevation is bound to change. So this becomes your line of sight. When he retires twenty meter, so this is twenty meter. A, B, C, D. Your A, B is twenty meter. He finds that the angle of elevation is thirty degree. Find the height of the tree, which means DC, and the breadth of the river, that's BC. Suppose this is X. Very simple. See, there are two right angle triangles, BCD, BCD, and there's one more triangle, ACD. I'm making right angle triangles, okay? In BCD. Tan 60 is perpendicular. That's DC. By base, that's X. Tan 60 is root 3. So root 3 equals to DC by X, which means DC will be root 3X. Done. Now look at triangle ACD. Now in triangle ACD again, tan 30 is DC perpendicular. By base, that's 20 plus X. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Now tan 30. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So one by root three is DC by twenty plus x, which means twenty plus x by root three is equal to DC. Now the value of DC is twenty plus x by root three. The value of DC is root three x. They have to be equal. So we can say according to the problem, can I write root three x is equal to twenty plus x by root three? And this goes over there. So this becomes three x equals to twenty plus x. Which is two x equals to twenty, which means x equals to ten meter. Am I clear? Which means the width of the river is ten meter. Okay. Now, what they asked? The height of the tree. The height of the tree is DC, and DC is nothing but root three x. Root three means one point seven three two multiplied by ten. That's seventeen point three two meter. Done. Okay. Now let us look at number eighteen. 18 i'll just draw the diagram is similar to this okay the shadow of a vertical tower on a level ground increases by 10 meter when the altitude of the sun changes from 45 degree to 30 degree find the height of the tower which means see if i can just draw this look over here i'll just draw the diagram this was the shadow okay the length of the shadow increases by 10 meter when the altitude of the sun changes from 45 to 30 which means earlier the angle of elevation was 45 then it became 30 find the height of the tower they have asked for this same c d c b a these two sums are similar okay now let us look at the next sum now look at sum number 19 very interesting from the top of a hill The angle of depression of two consecutive kilometer stones. 
Now, what do you mean by this statement? This statement means that the two stones and the distance between them is a kilometer, which means 1000 meter, are found to be 30 degree and 45 degree respectively, which means if this is your hill, okay, there are two stones, suppose over here and over here, okay. Now, and the distance between the two stone is one kilometer, that's thousand meter. And the angle of depression is given, which means if you are seen from the point D, okay, then the angle which it makes with the, the line of sight which makes with the, you know, horizontal, that is, this is 45, of course, the bigger one, and this is 30 degree, which means if this is 30, this has to be 30. If this is 45, this has to be 45. Angle of elevation and angle of depression are same, and they are parallel lines. Okay, and these are alternate angles. Now see, similar to the previous sum, again, in this case, DC is common in both the triangles. See, in triangle, First, I'll talk about in triangle ACD. Suppose this is X. ACD. Okay. Tan 45 is DC by X, which means 1 equals to DC by X, which means GC equals to X. Done. Now, in triangle BCD. In triangle BCD. Just look over here. Tan 30 is equal to DC by BC, that's 1000 plus X, isn't it? Which means tan 30 is how much? 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 equals to DC by 1000 plus X, which means DC will be 1000 plus X by root 3. Now look carefully, DC is X and DC is 1000 plus X by root 3. We can equate them, simple. So we can say according to the problem, can I write x equals to 1000 plus x by root 3, root 3 goes over here, so root 3x equals to 1000 plus x, which means root 3x minus x equals to 1000, x second common, root 3 minus 1 equals to 1000, which means x equals to 1000 by root 3 minus 1. Now we we'll rationalize the denominator. So we'll multiply by root 3 plus 1, root 3 plus 1. So it becomes 1000 root 3 plus 1. In the denominator, it's a square minus b square. Root 3 square is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So that's, so x is what? 500. And root 3 is 1.732 plus 1. That's 2.732. Isn't it? Which means x will be what? 1, 3, 6, 5 meter. Done. We got x as 1, 3, 6, 5 meter. What they have asked? Find the distance of the two stone from the foot of the hill. So the first stone is at a distance of x, which is 1, 3, 6, 5 meter. The second stone at b is at a distance of 1000 plus x. So 1000 plus this will be 2, 3, 6, 5 meter. Done. Now let us look at the next sum. Now let us look at sum number 21. Very easy. At a point on a level ground, the angle of elevation of the vertical tower is found to be such that its tangent is 5 by 12. What do you mean by this statement? This statement simply means if from here you are seeing this point, then it makes an angle theta. Suppose then tan theta is equal to 5 by 12. They have told. See, at a point, suppose A, on a level ground, the angle of elevation of a vertical tower, this is your tower, is found to be such that its tangent is 5 by 12. Now, on walking 192 meter towards the tower, so from here, you walk till here, and this distance is 192 meter. The tangent of the angle is found to be 3 by 4. Now the tangent changes. So now the angle changes, of course. Suppose this is alpha, then 
tan alpha is 3 by 4. Okay, find the height of the tower. This is A, B, sorry, A, B we have already taken. This is C and this is D suppose. Okay, the same logic. DC is common in both the triangle. Look over here. Find the height of the tower. Now, look over here. In triangle BDC, tan alpha is DC. Suppose this is X by BC. That's X. So tan alpha is 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 is equal to DC by X, which means 3X by 4 is equal to DC. Tan. Now, in triangle ACD, in triangle ACD, if you look, then tan theta is DC by 192 plus X, isn't it? Now, so tan theta is how much? 5 by 12. So 5 by 12 equals to DC by 192 plus X, which means DC equals to 5, 192 plus X by 12. Now, we can equate this and this, isn't it? So we can write 3x plus 4, sorry, 3x by 4 is equal to 5, 192 plus x by 12, isn't it? Which means 9x equals to 5, 2 is a 10, 45, 46, 960 plus 5x, which means 4x equals to 960, which means x equals to 240 meter. Once you got X, you can get DC. DC is what? DC is thrice into X by 4. That's 180 meter, which means the height of the tower is 180 meter. Now let us do the next sum. Now look at sum number 23. From the top of a church fire, 96 meter. So that's 96 meter. Okay, the angle of depression of two vehicles on the road. So there are two vehicles, suppose A and B. Okay, so the angle of depression from the top. Okay, yeah, the angle of depression of the two vehicles on the road at the same level as the base of this fire and on the same side of it is x degree and y degree, where tan x is 1 by 4 and tan y is 1 by 7. So, the angles are x degree and y degree and tan x equals to 1 by 4 and tan y equals to 1 by 7. So, if this is x, this has to be x, alternate angle and we know angle of elevation and angle of depression are same. So, this is x, if this is y, this is y. Okay, this is 90 degree. Okay, now in this case, I've seen a lot of students, they mark this as X and this is Y. Now look carefully, very interesting. We know that value of tan increases, like tan 45 is more than tan 30, tan 60 is more than tan 45, isn't it? So if the angle increases, the value of also increases. Now, of course, if you draw this diagram, X is greater than y the angle x is greater than angle y so if angle x is greater tan x will be greater see tan x is 1 by 4 and 1 by 7 so this is a larger quantity which means x will be over here and y will be over here be careful now come calculate the distance between the two vehicles which means this thing very easy in triangle bdc tan x equals to dc by bc so tan x is 1 by 4 is dc is 96 by bc so bc will be 96 multiplied by 4 so bc is 4 6 are 24 6 are 7 38 done now similarly we can solve in triangle acd look over here in triangle acd tan y is dc by AC, isn't it? So tan Y is what? 1 by 7 is DC. DC is 96 by AC. Done. So AC is what? 
and the 6 into 7, 7 6 of 42, 63, 67. Am I clear? So this becomes 672 meter. They ask to calculate the distance between the vehicles, which means AB. Now if you look carefully, AB is nothing but AC minus BC. So AC is 672 minus 384 meter. Done. Now let us look at the next sum. Now let us look at sum number 25. The horizontal distance between two tower is 140 meter. The angle of elevation of the top of the first tower when seen from the top of the second tower is 30 degree. If the height of the second tower is 60 meter, find the height of the first tower, which means C. There are two towers. Okay. Just be careful. The horizontal distance between two towers is 140 meter. See, the diagram is very important. If you can draw the diagram properly, half your work is done. The angle of elevation of the top of the first tower so this is your first tower okay when seen from the second tower so this is your second tower and angle of elevation is this isn't it we'll draw a horizontal which is parallel to this okay this is 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree if the height of the second tower is 60 so this is 60 meter find the height of the first tower very easy a B, C, D, E. Now, AD is 60. So, this is also 60 meter. Because these two are parallel. This is 90. So, it has to be a rectangle. Isn't it? We have constructed AB. AB parallel to D. Okay? Now, look carefully. So, AB becomes 140 meter. So AB is equal to DE is equal to 140 meter. Now in triangle ABC, if you get BC, then add 60, we'll get the answer, isn't it? Now in triangle ABC, just look. In triangle ABC, tan 30 is equal to perpendicular pi base. Now tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Is BC? BC we don't know. AB is what? 140. So BC is 140 by root 3. Now we will rationalize it. So I will multiply by root 3 up and down. So 140 into 1.732 pi 3. Am I clear? Now this when you solve it, somewhere around 80.83 meter. This when you solve it. So CE, if you look carefully, is 80.83 plus sorry 80.83 okay plus 60 that's 140.83 meter done this was a nice sum now let us look at the next sum now look at sum number 29 part 2 very easy an aeroplane at an altitude of 250 meter so there was a plane which was flying at an altitude of 250 meter observes that the angle of depression of two boats on the opposite bank of a river so this is the bank of the river and the angle of depression of the two boats on the opposite bank of the river suppose a b c okay this is your d and the angle of depression is given so from the plane, the angle of depression of the first boat is suppose 45 and the second boat is 60 degree on the opposite bank of the river. Find the width of the river, which means they have asked for A. Very easy. Just look over here. If this is 45, this is 45, this is 60, so this is 60. Done. Now look, in triangle ADC, in triangle ABC, tan 45 is CD by AD. So 1 equals to CD is 250 by AD. So AD is 250 meter. There was no issue in that. Now in triangle DCB, in triangle DCB, tan 60 is DC by DB. 
Now tan 60 is root 3. DC is 250 by DB. So DB will be 250 by root 3. Okay. Now we'll rationalize it. So we need to multiply by root 3. So that's 250 root 3 by 3. When you solve it, you get 144.34 meter. Okay. They've asked for AB. So AB will be 250 plus 144.34 that's 394.34 meter and that's the width of the river. Now let us look at the next sum. Now let us see sum number 31. Till 30 from 25 to till 30 the sums are similar. Okay, You can try on your own. A man 1.8 meter, this is a very important sum. A man 1.8 meter high stands at the distance of 3.6 meter from a lamp post. So there is a lamp post and a man whose height is given 1.8 meter stands at a distance of 3.6 meter. Am I clear? Now, cast a shadow of 5.4 meter on the ground, which means the shadow of the person is 5.4 meter on the ground. Am I clear? Find the height of the lamp post. They ask the height of the lamp post. Now look carefully. Now suppose I draw. Just look. E F. Construct. E F parallel to A B. Okay. And of course A E and C B are parallel. So it's a rectangle. This is 90 degree. Isn't it? Which means E F B A is a rectangle. Isn't it? Which means E F will be 3.6 meter and F B will be 1.8 meter. Now suppose this is theta. If you look carefully this and this are parallel which means this angle and this angle has to be same theta isn't it corresponding angle now look carefully suppose this is x this is 1.8 so this is x minus 1.8 i'm talking about cf cf is x minus 1.8 now look in triangle efc in triangle EFC tan theta is perpendicular by base done now look in triangle BCD in triangle BCD again tan theta perpendicular as X by base base is how much 5 6 7 8 9 now, this and this has to be equal because they both are equal to tan theta. So we can say according to the problem, x minus 1.8 by 3.6 is equal to x by 9. Now this is 9 x minus 1.8 equals to 3.6 x. This goes over here, 10 comes, 9 ones are 9 so we'll just solve it so this is 5x minus 9 equals to 2x which means 3x equals to 9 which means x equals to 3 meter which means the height of the lamppost is 3 meter done a very nice sum now let us look at the next sum now look at sum number 32 very interesting the angle of depression of the top and the bottom of an 8 meter tall building from the top of the multi storied building, which means there is a multi storied building and there is an 8 meter tall building. Okay, and the angle of depression, if you see from this top, the top of this building in the bottom, see the angle of depression of the top and the bottom of the 8 meter tall building from the top of the 
multi-sweat building is 30 degree and 45 degree okay which means look carefully if I can draw the diagram this okay now this the angle of depression which means this is 30 and this is 45 which means this is 45 degree and this is 30 degree done find the height of the building and the distance between the two building C A B C D E now look carefully in triangle A B C in triangle A B C suppose this is X okay and this is H A B so A D look carefully this is 8 this will be A H minus 8 isn't it I have taken this as X H this as X okay now in triangle ABC if you look carefully tan 45 is perpendicular by base so 1 equals to H by X which means X equals to H okay now look carefully in triangle ADE in triangle ADE tan 30 is AD by D am I clear the tan 30 is 1 by root 3 AD is H minus 8 and DE is nothing but X you can see the diagram if this is X this is X this two are parallel okay now so over here x will be root 3 h minus 8 and x is equal to h so we can equate we can say see these two we can say h is equal to root 3 h minus 8 am i clear so h equals to root 3 h minus 8 root 3 so this is 8 root 3 equals to root 3h minus h which is 8 root 3 equals to h root 3 minus 1 so 8 root 3 by root 3 minus 1 is equal to h now we will rationalize ok so h will be what 8 root 3 by root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3 plus 1 so that becomes when you multiply 8 root 3 and this is root 3 plus 1 and this is a square minus b square which means root 3 square minus 1 square which means 3 minus 1 2 so that's h is what if you open the bracket 4 root 3 into root 3 4 3 is a 12 plus 4 root 3 so h is what 12 plus 4 into 1.732 you just calculate this am i clear now let us look at the next sum now look at sum number 34 a vertical pole and a vertical tower are on the same level ground from the top of the pole the angle of elevation of the top of the tower which means if this is the tower of course the pole is smaller okay now from the top of the pole the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree which means just look if from the top of the pole we see the top of the tower the angle of elevation is 60 degree and the angle of depression of the foot of the tower is 30 degree which means if we see from here the foot of the tower this is 30 degree okay find the height of the tower we asked for the height suppose h if the height of the pole is 20 meter so this is 20 meter that's now just look over here a b c if this is 30 this angle has to be 30 then suppose this is d this is e now first in abc in triangle abc tan 30 is perpendicular by base which means tan 30 is 1 by root 3 equals to perpendicular is 20 by base which means bc is 20 root 3 done therefore AD is also because these two are parallel 
AD is also equal to 20 root 3. Now, this is 20. So, this will be H minus 20 ED. Now, in ADE, in triangle ADE, just look, tan 60 is perpendicular by base. A tan 60 is root 3. So, root 3 gives to ED is H minus 20. And AD, AD is equal to 20 root 3. So, this goes over there. 20 root 3 multiplied by root 3, that's 60. 60 goes to H minus 20, which means H equals to 80 meter, which means the height of the vertical tower is 80 meter. Done. Now, let us look at the next sum. Now, look at this sum, 36. The angle of elevation of the top of an unfinished tower at a point distance 120 meter from its base is 45 degree. Which means there is a tower. When viewed from a point, the angle of elevation is 45 degree. This is 120 meter. Am I clear? Now, how much higher must the tower be raised so that the angle of elevation at the same point may be 60 degree. Which means you increase the height and increase the height in such a way that if you see from the same point the angle of elevation changes to 60 degree this height they want okay very easy look over here in triangle ABC tan 45 if you look carefully BC by AB that's 140 so 1 equals to BC by 120 which means BC equals to 120 so this is 120, your BC, done. Now look at triangle ABD. Triangle ABD. Tan 60 is BD, which is 120 plus X. Suppose this is BC is X by 120. Now, tan 60 is root 3. So root 3 into 120 equals to 120 plus X, which means X will be 120 root 3 minus 120. Which means x is 120 root 3 minus 1. So x is 120 1.732 minus 1. So x is 120 multiplied by 0 0.732. You can calculate this. Okay. Now look at the next sum. Now look at this sum. The last sum. 38. An aircraft is flying at a constant height with a speed of 360 km per hour. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the aircraft at any instant was observed to be 45 which means if this is your aircraft when you are seeing it from this point a the angle of elevation of the aircraft was 45 degree okay after 20 second the angle of elevation was 30 degree which is of course the aircraft is moving on this side Okay, because the angle of elevation decreases. If it increases, it should move on this side. So after 20 seconds, suppose it comes over here, isn't it? Then the angle of elevation changes to 30 degree. Am I clear? And this distance was covered in speed was 360 kilometer per hour. Time was 20 second. Okay. The angle of elevation. Determine the height at which the aircraft is flying. Which means they are asking this. A, B, C, D, E. First of all, to cover C, E, it requires 20 second. And the speed is given. We can find the distance C. Just look. Distance equals to speed into time. So distance equals to 360 into time is 20 seconds. So 20 by 60 minute into 60 hour. So that's distance is 2 kilometer. Which means this is 2 kilometer. Which means PD will be 2 kilometer. Isn't it? Done. Now look carefully. In triangle A. B, C. In triangle A, B, C. B, C is, of course, suppose this is H. So this will be H. Am I clear? Tan 45 
if you look carefully tan 45 equals to perpendicular by base done which means AB is equal to H because tan 45 is 1 now in triangle ABE in triangle ABE just see tan 30 is perpendicular by base base is what AD that's H plus 2 done now tan 30 is how much 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 equals to H by H plus 2 which means H plus 2 equals to root 3H which means 2 equals to root 3H minus H which means 2 equals to H root 3 minus 1 which means H equals to 2 by root 3 minus 1 we'll rationalize it isn't it so H will be what 2 root 3 plus 1 and this is a square minus b square which means 3 minus 1 that's 2 so that's h will be what 1.732 plus 1 that's 2.732 kilometers and that's your answer so this was the last sum of the chapter keep it till here in the next video we'll see the other chapter till then take care